Liverpool are at a crossroads. Mohamed Salah's contract negotiations rumble on, Sadio Mane's form is inconsistent, and Roberto Firmino is already battling Diogo Jota for a starting spot. During the 2017-18 season, Salah, Mane and Firmino became the first trio to score 10 goals each in a single Champions League campaign. The next year, they won the whole thing. Now, when they need to replace this record-breaking trio remains uncertain, but it will have to happen sooner or later. So, we've created a playstyle template for each member of the front three and found a dream, realistic and wildcard replacement for every player based on their role. That's the brief, here's the shortlist. Replacing Roberto Firmino. Roberto Firmino is very good. He still creates, he still presses, and while his goal scoring tallies have fallen since the highs of 2017-18, he still offers Liverpool something that no other player does. The dream replacement is one of the most exciting strikers in the world, Jurgen Klopp's words, not ours. Lautaro Martinez is involved in far less passing than Firmino and his signing would likely necessitate an attacking rejig but when it comes to pressing, he and Firmino align. Since the start of last season, Lautaro has won possession in the final third more times per 90 minutes than any other forward in Serie A. The realistic replacement is already at the club. Signed ostensibly as a fourth attacking option with a statistical profile most like Mane's, Diogo Jota has found himself increasingly at home in Firmino's central slot this season. The Portuguese is more of a goal scorer than the Brazilian and as mentioned, he could just as easily become the heir to Sadio Mane if needed. Either way, Liverpool have arguably already replaced one member of the trio. As the name suggests, the wildcard replacement is the most exciting. In terms of output, Amin Guiri essentially profiles as a Roberto Firmino regen. Although he currently operates from the left at Nice, Diogo Jota is the perfect example of how a winger can thrive in Liverpool's unique centre-forward role. A creator, a passer and a presser who likes to dribble as much as Firmino. It doesn't look that wild now, does it? Replacing Sadio Mane. Sadio Mane has been exceptional since the moment he joined Liverpool in 2016. Only Harry Kane and Mohamed Salah have scored more non-penalty Premier League goals since then, and he's in the top five for take-ons completed and touches in the opposition box. The dream replacement for one of the most complete wide forwards in Europe is one of the most complete wide forwards in Europe. Serge Gnabry is the oldest player on this list, but with his contract expiring next year at the same time as Mane's, he could be the ideal replacement for reasons on and off the pitch. Now, depending on where you see Diogo Jota's future at Liverpool, the Portuguese could have easily popped up in this category again. But if Jota does replace Firmino at the expense of some creativity, then Christopher Nkunku would restore balance to the front three. Liverpool are reportedly already scouting the man whose most attractive attribute may be that, like Mane and Salah, he rarely misses a game. Now, Florian Vert is a wildcard pick for two reasons. One, he would break the bank. Bills report that a fee approaching £100 million would be needed to secure his signature. And two, it could lead to a change in formation. The German can play on the left, but is far happier in a central role. A return to the Coutinho era 4-2-3-1 would leave this dynamic, supremely gifted teenager free to pull the strings behind a front three. I think he would do well with Jurgen Klopp at Liverpool as the successor to Sadio Mane. So says Frankfurt great Karl Heinz Korbel, who approves this message. Replacing Mohamed Salah. Left till last because for all the arguments about sticking to a salary policy and stability in the dressing room, let's face it, you'd pay him whatever he wants. However, judging by the 100 million plus fee Real Madrid paid for Eden Hazard following his best ever season for Chelsea, there is an argument for cashing in, especially when you consider the quality of our suggested replacements so far. That being said, the only wide forward that comes anywhere near to Mohamed Salah's output is Kylian Mbappe, the man with a heart set on a move to Real Madrid. Even calling the Mbappe 2022 movement a dream might be a stretch nowadays. The realistic pick follows the blueprint laid out by the Mane and Jota signings. Rafinha is Premier League proven and is racking up impressive numbers for a non-Big Six club without much fuss. He's been more noticeable given the Leeds' reliance on him, and although he's not the exact statistical match to Salah, his style of play and work rate screams heavy metal football. Jared Bowen made this list long before Stuart Pearce directly compared him to Mohamed Salah. The West Ham coach believes Bowen has the skill set needed to mimic some of the Egyptians' trademark moves. Now, before you laugh, take a closer look at the radar. He's no match for the Egyptians' output overall, but the shape and therefore style of play is similar. 
A direct runner who looks to pass adventurously, his expected assists and non-penalty goals per 90 compare well to Salah in 2021-22, and he even fits the previously mentioned Mane Jota blueprint. While he may not break the Premier League record for most goals scored in a single season in his debut campaign, Liverpool could do far worse in their attempts to find an heir to the Egyptian king. So how would you rebuild Liverpool's front three? Let us know in the comments and add any of your own suggestions. If you liked this transfer shortlist, then please like and share the video before letting us know which brief you want us to look at next. And remember, you can compare all of these players and more on the comparison matrix. We've set one up for each member of the front three in the description below.